Thank you again for joining us today as we remember the events of Holy Week. On Tuesday, Jesus again went up with his disciples to the temple, where he was confronted by different groups of religious leaders. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the Herodians each tried to trip Jesus up by asking difficult questions to trap him. But each time, Jesus avoided the trap. Toward the end of the day, as Jesus was leaving the temple, his disciples began to comment on what a magnificent building it was. Jesus, however, offered them a stern warning. In Mark 13, he said, Do you see all these great buildings? Not one stone here will be left on another. Every one will be thrown down. And history records that Jesus' prediction came true because in the year 70 AD, the Roman army came and destroyed the temple. In fact, if you go to Jerusalem today, these stones are what remain of that first century temple. They stand as a stark reminder of one of the most painful memories in Israel's history. But they also remind us of one of the gifts that Jesus offers us through the cross and the resurrection. Over the last few weeks, we've been in a series that we've called Drawing Near to God, where we remember how the Jewish people would draw near to God's presence when they would go up to the temple. But because of what Jesus has done, now we no longer need to go to a place to be near to God, because God has come near to us. Now, whoever receives Christ becomes God's dwelling place, and he's near to us already. And so we don't have to go anywhere. We just have to be open to his presence and recognize that he's there with us. And that's one of the reasons why we celebrate Easter. We celebrate the cross and the resurrection. We celebrate God being near and being with his people.